Okay, welcome, and welcome to my garage. We're going to try to figure this out here and see if I can juggle all these things. And our objective, after all this, is that you can write equations of circles in the coordinate plane. And so we are accustomed to equations, but, and we're also accustomed to uh, circles, and we're also accustomed to coordinate plane. But now we're going to combine these three, three things together. Equations of circles in the coordinate plane. Let's first remind ourselves of the definition of a circle. Remember, a circle is the set of all points that are coplanar. That is, they are, are on the same plane. In other words, uh, like this sheet of paper, let's consider this to be a plane. So all these points are on the same plane. And also the points have to be equidistant, the same distance from the center of the circle. So when you think of the word distance, you are thinking especially a uh, diagonal uh, distance. Remember on the coordinate plane, uh, we set up a right triangle. And that helps us to find the distance of a, a diagonal uh, distance. And when you have your right triangle, then you're thinking of Pythagorean theorem to find the distance. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So to find this c here, which is the hypotenuse across from your right angle, you find that the horizontal distance, which we are calling a, and you square that plus the vertical distance, square it, and that equals the squared distance of your hypotenuse. Okay, so a circle can use this Pythagorean theorem because we know that uh, when the center of the circle is on the origin, then every point on the circle will be the same distance from that origin. And therefore we can use, or this is, the equation of a circle whose center is on the origin. x squared, this horizontal distance, plus y squared, this vertical distance, equals the length of the hypotenuse, which we are calling, of course, the radius, uh, the distance from the center to the circle. So this is the equation of a circle in the coordinate plane, only when, though, the center is on the origin. So, for example, how was I going to do this? Switch this over here. There it goes. Nice. We got it, I think. Yep. So here's a circle for us. And the center of this circle is on the origin. And uh, each of these blocks is worth one unit. So let's count. Let's uh, figure out what the radius is. The radius is one, two, three. Okay, so, and that's the same, of course, for each of these, going from the origin over here, each of these are three. So the radius is three on this circle, and that's all that we need, as long as the center of the circle is on the origin. So here's our equation for a circle whose origin, or whose center is on the origin, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And as we said, the radius for this circle is 3, so plug in 3 for r, 3 squared is 9, and so that is the equation of a circle whose radius is 3 and whose center is on the origin. That's pretty simple. Okay, but what if we are wanting to have the center, or we have the center of the circle, uh, where, when it's not on, or not at, the origin. Well, let's call the center, then, of this circle. Let's relax over here. And push this, there we go. Let's call the center of the circle H comma K. And I have no idea where they came up with these variables of H comma K. But think of it as, let's take a hike away from the origin, and let's hike over to a center that's uh, not on the origin. So H-I-K-E, hike. And so the x-coordinate for the center is going to be H. 
and the y coordinate for the center, let's call that k. So everything else is still the same. We still have, it's the same distance, uh, each point on the circle is equidistant from the center. But now, in order to find this distance, um, or you know, to uh, in, a, in, in an equation to represent this distance, uh, it's no longer just our simple Pythagorean theorem, but now we need to use the distance formula. Remember the distance formula? Uh, d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And you will remember that this distance formula comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So the a here is the difference in the x-coordinates. So this a here is x, what we're calling uh, x here, the coordinate, uh, x minus h, which is the center, or the x-coordinate for the center. So this length here is x minus h. So instead of x2 minus x1, instead let's put x minus h. That is the, the length of a here, <clears throat> the horizontal component uh, of this triangle. And then plus, and this uh, vertical component of the triangle is y minus k, where k is the y-coordinate of the circle, or of the center. And so let's plug in y minus k in for, instead of uh, having y2 minus y1, let's put y minus k. And then to put it in a similar format to your uh, x squared, or a squared plus b squared equals uh, c squared, let's square uh, both sides. And so you know the squaring removes the square root uh, here. And we're back to a similar format to what we had before. So instead of x squared plus y squared equals r squared, all that we're doing is just from the x, we are subtracting the x-coordinate of the center, so x minus y, and then for the y, we are subtracting the y-coordinate of the center, which is k, so y minus k. And then of course we're squaring that, and that equals r squared. So in, so this is the standard equation uh, of a circle, and in this you should see a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's all we're doing. It's simple. It's so much easier to understand it um, and remember it and memorize it uh, when you understand it. Okay. So this is the equation, the standard equation of a circle, when the center of the circle is at h comma k and the radius is r. So let me give you an example of how we would do that. Let me shift things around here. There we go. Bring this down. Okay. So here they give us an example or give us the equation. No, no, they don't give us equation. They want us to write the equation when the center of the circle is at 0 comma negative 9 and the radius is 4.2. So they want us to use a decimal here. Okay, so remember, center, always think h comma k. You want to hike out to the center, h comma k. So your center is always going to be h comma, or is always going to use the variables of h comma k. So when they give us the center, of 0 comma negative 9, let's write underneath that h comma k. So the h, the value of the h is 0, and the value of k is negative 9, and our radius is 4.2. So here's our standard equation of a circle, and all that we do is just plug in our values for the center and the radius. So our h is 0, so we plug in 0 for h, and our k is negative 9, so plug in negative 9. So be real careful out here. Remember that the equation includes y minus k. So when I plug in a negative 9 for the k, make sure to preserve that negative that's in the formula. 
So write the formula y minus and then write your k. In this case the k is negative 9. And then you want to protect the, that negative by putting a parentheses around that. So now you have y minus negative 9. And as you know, when you subtract a negative, it's the same thing as adding, where you think of it as you're connecting these two negatives together to make a large uh, positive. So this y minus negative 9 turns into y plus 9. Over here with uh, x, of course x minus 0 is just x. And then 4.2 squared, I guess, is 17.64. So that is the equation of a circle whose center is at 0 comma negative 9 and whose radius is at 4 comma or is the length of uh, 4.2. Okay, so you are ready now to do these two uh, problems on your uh, notes. So go ahead and pause the video and uh, well let me give you a little hint here. So the center is at 0 comma 0. So always when you see center always put h comma k and then the radius is at 2.5 and then write out please write out your standard equation of a circle and get accustomed to that equation and then now just plug in your numbers into this equation and simplify it. And then do the same thing over here. Uh, put h comma k up on top here for the center point and then write your standard form of a circle and then plug in your values and then simplify and that will be the equation of those uh, uh, circles that they're giving you the information from. So you must try something. Please try something. Don't just continue on. So please pause the video and, and do that. Let's look at example three though. Uh, here they are uh, giving us the a point and a circle. So um, before they gave us the radius, now all that they're giving to us is just one point on the circle and the center of the circle. Well, that's helpful to have the center because you know this is h, right? h is negative three and k will be three. But I need to know what the radius is. I've got to figure out what the radius is for this. Well, what we can do is do the distance formula. That's one way to do it. Do the distance formula between the center and this point that's on the circle because you know that is the length between these two points is the radius. So here's your distance formula and that distance from the center to a point on the circle uh, will be the radius. So let's plug in our points and for x2 in this case they are using the point on a circle and for x1 uh, they are using the uh, the center, the x-coordinate of the center. And notice how you're saying negative 5, negative 5 minus the negative 1. So preserve that negative of the negative 1 by putting parentheses around that. And so this would turn into a plus. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And then do the same thing uh, for the y-coordinates and then simplify it and you would get the radius as being 5. So now that you have the radius and you also have the center, now you can plug that into your standard form of a uh, circle uh, simply by plugging in negative 1 in here for h and again here's x minus negative 1 so be real careful with those negatives. This is probably the point where place where people make the most mistakes uh, so minus a negative one is a positive one and then everything else is pretty simple so here's your r is 5 5 squared is 25 so what I did was I wrote out for you a specific example in a format that I think is a little bit easier so in this question uh, number three on your let me do this up here in fact is that going to hold Hopefully it doesn't fall off the washer and I have to jump and grab it. <laughs> so here's, here's an example. They're giving you a point, a point on a circle, and whose center, the center of the circle, 
is 1 comma 4. So whenever you see center, always think, take a hike to the center. So that's h comma k. So our h value is 1, and the value of our k is 4. And they want us to write the, equa the standard equation of a circle, of this particular circle. So let's start out by writing the standard form. And yes, we could use the, the distance formula like we did before and find the distance between that point and a center. But a, another way of doing the same thing uh, is to use the standard form. And then just plug in what you know. So for x, let's plug in the point that we know, which is 3. So I plug in 3 for my x. And then the h, in this case, is 1. So I plug in 1 for that. And then the y is the y value of the point that I have, which is 4. And the k, take that from my center, is 4, is also 4. And I don't know what r is. So now I have an equation that where I have everything except for the r, the radius, and now I can solve this equation for the radius. So I'm doing the same thing as I did in the other problem. I'm solving for the radius, but I'm using, I'm doing it in a little bit different way. So when I simplify all this, and I come up with 4 equals r squared, and so to solve for r, I want to square both sides, and the square root of 4 is 2, is 2, and the square root of r squared is just r. So now I know the radius, and I also know the center, and I can plug that into the standard form of a circle. This is the same thing that we're accustomed to. So for h, I plug in my value of 1. For k, plug in my value of 4. And then for r, I plug in my radius of uh, 2. And then just simplify that. These cannot be simplified. Just leave those as they are. And then 2 squared equals 4. So this is the standard form of a circle whose center is at 1 comma 4 and a point, one point, on the circle is 3 comma 4. If they would have given us a different point, we still would have ended up with the same exact equation. Okay, that's the beauty of this. So you go ahead and follow this uh, same pattern and uh, do this question uh, here that you have, number 4. It's the same exact type of question. They give you a point and the center of the circle and so I recommend that you uh, do it in the same way that you have here. If you want to use the distance formula to find the radius, uh, the distance of the rate, the length of the radius, uh, you're welcome to do that. Um,